What's going on, Scorpio? How are you doing? Hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic, and this is going to be your reading for the month of June 2024. So in this reading, Scorpio, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy for June. We're going to take a look at some things you do not see coming. We're also going to get some advice from your angels and spirit guides for you and so much more regarding the month of June 2024, Scorpio. So before we begin this reading, as always, I do want to take a moment to let you know that you are very welcome here in this space with me as we go through this reading. And I really do appreciate you in advance, Scorpio, for taking the time to check this reading out. Now, if this general reading does resonate with you, definitely smash that like button, subscribe down below if you have not already for future updates. I would also really appreciate that over here. So without further ado, I'm gonna pull the energy for you and we'll see what's coming your way for June 2024, Scorpio. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Scorpio. <clears throat> All right, Scorpio, so um, really intense energy, not surprisingly, that you got going on here for sure. Um, before we get into the tarot, let's go ahead and start this reading off with some pre-shuffled oracle cards. And these oracle cards are some messages from the universe for you regarding June. So the first one you have is Bridget, inner strength. Move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have the power here. And so this is the goddess of the springtime, the Celtic goddess here. And so it really represents moving back to wholeness and transforming yourself. It's a very fertile energy, like the energy of springtime, right? Like the trees start to bloom, the buds on the trees, you know, animals start to come out. And so this card also represents the element of fire, which even though Scorpio is a water sign, you're co-ruled co by Mars, which is the fiery hot planet. And so there's definitely something here about, I feel, authenticity and, and not externalizing your power. I'm just going to say it right off the bat. Some of you are, are not going to be for all of you. Some of you are definitely dealing with a very difficult third party situation in love, point blank. It's what you are experiencing. Um, and there is still hope for the situation, but not if you completely externalize your power. That may be contradictory to some of your belief systems, but that's really what I feel. So Bridget, uh, the energy of wholeness. No one can complete, no one can love you until you love yourself. But this is also about a, a transformation of the springtime that we're in. Now, you also have Joan of Arc, voice of truth, stand strong, focus on your purpose, release the fear of persecution, and speak your truth. And so the jo Joan of Arc here is like a divine prophet who has burned the stake. She helped the French defeat the English army uh, through channeling messages, basically. But she represents the feminine fear of, of persecution. And this card comes out, Scorpio, when it's time for you to stand strong and speak your truth about a certain situation, despite who may come at you, you know what I mean? Even if it's an interpersonal, because some of you, this is definitely just going to apply to your relationships. You know what I mean? You're going to have to speak the truth in some sort of way, even if it's very uncomfortable. But for many of you as light workers or, you know, whatever your mission is, whatever you feel like your desire to create in this reality is, you're going to have to have the inner strength to, to voice something um, or to really, 
I feel like this is about you understanding that you need to be more authentic than you have been being. Okay, and there could be a lot of uh, sadness, emotional sadness that you're going to realize in, in June. The reason why you're sad is because you're not being your true self. You know what I mean? And just to give you an example, like if you saw my community post from yesterday, um, I feel like a weight was lifted off my shoulders because even if it diminishes a lot of the energy that I've put into this channel, we'll see if it does or it doesn't. Um, I spoke my truth and I'm like, come get it. Like, I don't, I, 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 I who are you? Who are you? I, I don't care. Like, I'm speaking my truth and that's what it is. And I feel like there's something authentic that you have to do as well. Okay. So, but it could also have to do with the fear of persecution. So shout out mama. <clears throat> now you also have a Freya phases and Freya phases and cycles. There's a beginning with every ending. Illusions are being revealed and released. And so this is really a reminder that change is the only constant. And this is about allowing yourself to flow like the moon, that watery energy to flow with life and know that things are always, the, the, the only change uh, or the only constant is change. So if you try to hold on to an old way of, of being to protect yourself here, you know what I mean? I, I feel like it may not work out for you. Now, for some of you, there's definitely going to be an illusion about into your love life. Uh, for some of you, there, there's going to be a truth that comes out that you're going to have to have the inner strength to talk about. And I really feel like that's what the baseline frequency is for all of you. It will apply differently to different Scorpios, but there's a, there's a, there's definitely changes coming to your relationship. I do feel for many of you that are in a spiritual union or you're in love, there's something here to do potentially with a third party or it doesn't have to be anyone cheating on you, um, but there's definitely some sort of confusion in your love life that I feel like the hope should not leave your mind. There's something here about resolution to one of your relationships. And it could, for some of you, this it, it, what I'm getting, Scorpio, is this has to do with you not being authentic from the beginning or someone that you're dealing with not being authentic from the beginning. For some of you, I feel like this is you, where you may have entered into a relationship putting your best foot forward. Oh my God. And that fades away because it's fake. You know, and not that it's fake, not that we shouldn't be kind and we shouldn't do things like to, to really put other people, you know, to, to make other people feel good. But I feel like that's gone too far here for some of you. And there's something about you need to reveal a part of yourself to someone and let the chips fall where they may, even if there's some sort of weird situation. Now, for others of you, it doesn't have to do with that. But here's the thing. Um, your opportunity is the two of cups. And, you know, for me, this is the card of one-to-one -one relationships. There's definitely a key one-to-one -one relationship that could be coming into your life. For most of you, though, Scorpio, I feel like this is something about dealing with an existing relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic for many of you. I do feel like there's there could be a situation, though, about people triangulating others against each other. Um, even if it's like in your family dynamic, this could be two different people ganging up on one person in whatever way, in like a very immature way, in like a very zero sum game way uh, for someone to get what they want is what I feel. So the two of cups is your opportunity relationships, right? There could be something going on with that. There could be a new relationship coming in for some of you. But then when it comes to your challenge, you have two cards coming out. You have the page of wands and also the seven of swords. Right, the Seven of Swords is about deception, scheming, something going on behind the scenes. And it could have to do with someone doing something subversive in order to protect themselves because they don't want the swords to be used against them. And you also have the Page of Wands, which is a very immature, enthusiastic energy. So I feel like for some of you, the first thing in your challenge is that someone could be having a very fiery good time, but it's actually immature escapism that is ruining your relationship or that's getting in the way of your relationship. I feel like this could be like, this is an external energy of someone going behind your back, potentially with a third party or doing something that you're not aware of. Um, could have to do with immature triangulation. But for many of you, Scorpio, with this challenge being here, I feel like the seven of swords is, uh, and the page of wands here in your challenge could have to do with you being more honest and authentic uh, in order, you know, so that even if it hurts kind of thing, um, I feel like there's something being hidden here, whether it's someone that you're dealing with or you hiding some truth about yourself from someone, um, 
that is, it, you're, you may be trying to keep yourself safe or you may be trying to preserve the relationship and I don't judge you for that, but it's just what I feel. Take it as it resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, when it comes to your overall general energy, you know, this is why I'm saying what I'm saying, right? You have the Five of Cups, the Judgment card, and the Queen of Wands. Five of Cups is sadness, emotional distrust, you know, pain, could even be potential addictions. Um, you also have the Judgment card, which is about a major shift in consciousness and the ability to, dis to discern well. Judgment is like making a, like, do you have discernment? I can see what's real, I can see what's fake. And the Queen of Wands is all about authenticity, passion, being your true self, not caring what other people think about you. So I really feel like what this boils down to for some of you is a very painful judgment here that someone may be, someone around you may be uh, using their fiery energy in a way that is not beneficial to the relationship that you're in with them. Even if it's just passionate gossip, you know, someone is in a lot of emotional pain and so they are projecting all of that onto you, triangulating you. If this is to do with your family or a friend group, and it's not, especially for those of you not to do with romantic, I feel like there's something here about that. So be careful, Scorpio, that you're not accepting BS from people, taking crap from people. I feel like that could be going on. But for many of you here, Scorpio, this is this is more so about you realizing that there, there's a judgment about your own authenticity and what is true for you. Many times the hardest thing for us to line up with, with is our own truth. And I feel like there's some sort of emotional burden, a weight that you're carrying about who you really are that is um, going to lead to a lot of pain in your, in your life if you don't confront it. And it could be a certain, it could be you not really speaking your truth in the, the bigger world to do with your career and your purpose. And it could have to do with you having certain relationships that distract you. But for many of you, there's a judgment here that I need to be real and I need to let, let the chips fall where they may. Because I feel like many of you will be surprised by this, especially for those of you dealing with the tough romantic situation here. Um, I feel like you would be surprised if you were just honest about who you really are, whatever that means for you. I really feel like you might be surprised and there could be some sort of workability even if it's really hard to deal with. Now, when it comes to uh, what you don't see coming, you have the Three of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and also the Hanged Man. And the Three of Cups has to do with groups or celebrations, you know, that third party kind of energy. The Nine of Cups in reverse, though, the centerpiece to your reading is to do with selfish energy or someone who's not concerned with the well-being of others. It could also have to do with negative synchronicity. Some of you, in what you don't see coming, there's going to be a download or there's going to be some sort of spiritual experience that you have that's going to lead to the realization of a third party in your life. Um, for some of you, the sad thing here is that it's going to be a realization about a third party that you are into, even if you're already in a different relationship. Not going to be for most of you, but for some of you. And so there's definitely, um, the hanged man is all about like a moment of awakening as well as a judgment card. It's like you're caught red handed here and you just got to chill and surrender. It's about surrendering to the truth. It's what this reading is really all about. And, um, huh. Yeah, really interesting stuff here. Now, when it comes to your advice, Scorpio, you have the King of Wands, the Eight, uh, or excuse me, the King of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Star in your advice. And so the first thing that came through to do with those of you dealing with a very difficult truth that is going to come out about someone's authenticity or about a third party or about not being authentic and on the same page with someone in, in, in a romantic way, then there's definitely something here about there is hope for regeneration within this relationship, within closed mindedness. The King of Wands is about someone, excuse me, the, I don't know why I keep saying the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands is here. The King of Swords is about someone who's very logical, who has, who has good boundaries, but they could also be like cold. The Eight of Swords is a situation that you're not as stuck as you actually think that you are. This person is locked in a basement, but the window is not actually locked here but they're focused on all the swords here. And then the star is all about wish fulfillment and regeneration. So for, for those of you dealing with the relationship issue, I really feel like something can be put right if you're just authentic and let the chips fall where they may. And even if someone decides to move away from you, at least you will have your own peace, your emotional peace, because no one can give you peace 
if you don't have peace within yourself first. So that that's definitely going on here. Now, for others of you, this is about your own logical mind um, getting in the way of your own true desire. You know what I mean? I feel like there's a situation where you feel like you're stuck and you're actually not. You know what I mean? Like even me with like this whole Magdalene frequency, I'm like, oh, if I talk about it, my career is over. And then I just talked about it. And I'm like, no, I don't care if I have 300 people listening to these readings. It's fine. Like, you know what I mean? So there could be something about like the imprison, your, your, your own mind is imprisoning you. And then the star card has to do with Aquarius energy, which is about like being very out there, original, innovative, rebellious. So a lot going on, right? So um, let's go ahead and start clarifying this reading. I'm going to clarify the two of cups in your opportunity. Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, see, like, there's something uh, with your relationships here that is not working. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hold on. You see that flop? There's a three of pentacles, third party once again, perhaps. And the five of cups, wow. Yeah, so the two of cups is clarified by the five of pentacles, the three of pentacles, the ten of wands in reverse, and also the five of cups here. So there's definitely something going on here. I feel like a difficult situation for many of you with a third party. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy like cheating. It doesn't have to be that. But... I do feel like there's something here, Scorpio, about someone else and the, the situation feels like it's too much to handle and bringing sadness into your life. Um, for many of you here, though, Scorpio, there's also something about you getting out, potentially, of a, of a fake facade type of experience in your relationships. The Five of um, Pentacles deals with people who are too distracted by the idea of their destiny that they miss the boat. There's a, this, these people are homeless and injured and there's a church that's right open. They're like, hey, we're housing the homeless tonight. Come in, have a bed, have a fresh bed. And they're like, no, there's no place for me. I'm da, la, la, la. like, I'm screwed. You know what I mean? So there could be something about um, you feeling screwed within uh, one of your relationships that you feel is faded. But I would, I would get out of that, like that energy of like being too lost in your destiny. Get into the phys deal. This issue that you're having is not going to be sorted out through the spiritual. I just did a reading for cancer. It was all about sorting out the spiritual. This is more like you, the only sense of relief that you're going to have is through some sort of like direct, real communication with someone or making a, a, a tangible change in your life. That's what I feel. Let's clarify the five of cups. And, um, you know, they say like, what truly belongs to you weighs nothing. If you feel like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders, then that's someone else's stuff and not yours. And especially for those of you dealing with, um, these very intense emotions about you being authentic and you, you not caring what people think, or like, we all care about what people think of us. But if you care about what people think of you more than you think of yourself, you're going to get into trouble. And I feel like that's what's going on here, even if it's like very difficult for you to hear that. We all deal with it, right? So, yeah, interesting stuff here. Okay. Um, yeah, that five of cups. Why is the five of cups here? The five of cups is clarified by the chariot and also the six of cups here. The chariot's all about freedom of movement travel, divine protection, and a vehicle that is able to get you where you want to go. The six of cups is all to do with your past, hometown, roots, childhood, could have to do with a past life relationship. Um, so I feel like the old way of doing things, you're divinely protected to move in a different direction. Now, for some of you, this is going to be as practical as you, you're going to, in the beginning of June, you're going to be having a, your, your car is going to break down, and it's going to ruin your plans or something. But let me tell you right now, Scorpio, for those of you dealing with, if you get into any sort of weird situation of negative synchronicity that you feel blocks your plans, it's not. It's the, it's, I definitely feel like spirit is going to step in for some of you to 
shift you out of your past in a really weird way. So car, like, because you can only experience what you're a vibrational match to in this life. If you're not, a, if you're on the way to like a certain event or like to your partner and you're not a vibrational match to it anymore, your car will literally break down before you get there. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Let's also clarify why the uh, judgment card is here. There could be a, a a realization you gotta move away from the old ways of doing things, even if it brings even if it brings emotional pain into your life. Yeah, the judgment card is clarified by the Hierophant, the strength card, and the nine of wands. It has to do with unfit, unfinished business, um, moving through a difficult situation with grace and tradition, orthodoxy, commitment, and really being a leader here. So for many of you, I'm getting that this actually has to do so more so with like something that you may want to do in the physical world, like with your career or your mission and purpose or your own authentic truth, even if you're cultivating it within yourself first. There's something you've been putting off here that you're, and I feel like it's your animalistic self. I feel Scorpio that when you get chills and when you, like you feel like the voice of God speaking through you and you get inspired and you're in that queen of wands, Scorpio energy, the Bridget Joan of Arc energy, that is, that is God. That is the real you speaking to you. But then I feel like there's, there could be this idea of like the orthodoxy the way of doing things that is that is really stopping your higher self from fully manifesting in, in this incarnation. Um, because the old way of doing things, the order, the social order, like even through all the religions and like that has been set in place for thousands of years is what I'm here to destroy. Because it's not working anymore. It hasn't worked for thousands of years. What are we doing? And so this can include things like the theme that I've been going through with like just being my authentic self. Like I was watching like an interview of like Bob Lazar and I was just like really realizing like, wait, why am I letting people hold me back from like actually just telling people what the hell is going on in my life? Like so many people are well received and, and, uh, taken seriously when they say something that would be perceived as physically impossible nowadays. So I feel like this is, and it's not, it may not even be that deep, but I feel, now for others of you, this definitely has to do with a, a commitment though. And you making a judgment that we have, we got to deal with, we got to put this right. You know what I mean? And, and interestingly enough, as I say that, you have the seven of swords and the nine of pentacles. That has to do with deception and, and someone potentially being selfish or not really putting the other person first. So you may be in a relationship I really feel whatever type, you know, take it as it resonates that people are not truly looking out for each other. You know what I mean? Because listen, you want to know, like all, of, like all of our relationships are fake. Let me just be honest with you. If you go up to someone and you're like, hey, this is what I want to do with my life. I love you. I'm going to support you. I just hope you could support me with it as well. And they're like, me, 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 me. That's not love. It's not. It's not. Sorry. So <laughs> let's clarify the Queen of Wands. Some of you is a sexual thing. I'm just gonna be honest. Uh, the Death card and the Hanged Man clarifying the Queen of Wands could have to do with something sexual third party that you're angry about, or could have to do with you, your own sexuality as a Scorpio. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, let's clarify the Queen of Wands though. Eight of Pentacles. You know, here's the thing as well. You know what I'm getting from this now? Is like you're convinced, Scorpio, that something is is unworkable or it's not gonna work out well before you have put your heart and soul into it because of the culture scape or some freaking thing. Um it's like you're not doing something authentic to you because you're already like you're already doubting things. You're already like, oh, this like I don't want to be in like poverty. Um, but Mars, the co-ruler of Scorpio, is Mars and Pluto. Mars will take the action. Mars is the soldier that that the drive that you have to to meet your desires, to be authentic, to manifest what you want, to create what you want. 
but Pluto dives deep in underneath the surface and is willing to face death in order to manifest what it wants. And then you have Joan of Arc and Bridget here and Freya, and that is like death, persecution, and fire. <laughs> and so I feel like I'm going to call some of you out and take it as it resonates. It's not for everyone, but I feel like for some of you Scorpio, especially the Scorpio women, or for some of you Scorpio men, this could have to do with a woman that you're convinced it's not going to work out with that you're in love with. For some, I'm picking up on that for some of you, but many of you Scorpio women out there, you haven't even you haven't even got started. You haven't because of, of, of relationships, because of what will they think of me, because of I don't deserve this, because of the culture scape and, and look what happened to the autistic mystic. I don't want to do that. Well, why, what do you want to do in this incarnation then? You know what I mean? So, um, and, and it's like there's this confusion about what your wish fulfillment actually is that you need to address this month. I feel like some of you may have your wires crossed. Oh God, I didn't think it was going to be this deep today. And listen, this is not going to be for all of you, but for some of you listening to this right now, there's a path set out for you that you deep down know that you need to do, or at least try it. And uh, you're like, no, it doesn't resonate with me. It doesn't resonate with me because it's in your subconscious mind. Of course, it wouldn't resonate with you. I feel like there's some sort of programming that you experienced in childhood that would make you feel guilty, shame, bad, wrong for going down a certain path. But if you literally just put your heart into it, you're going to be very successful at it and it's going to be a good investment. That's what I got. Um, let's clarify the hanged man and what you don't see coming. It's going to sum everything up there. Let's see. It was all good just a week ago. Muggles feel they sell. Now watch the throne drop. Muggles kill they sell. What am I gonna do? Huh? It's a new track. Or right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm distracting myself. Uh, Saudi, Saudi. Hold on, hanged man. Why is he here? The Queen of Swords. the king of pentacles in reverse <laughs> and the high priestess in reverse hmm interesting stuff you know scorpio hmm this can have to do with intuition uh the heart versus the mind or intuition versus logic, and there's a problem with intuition versus logic. Now, for many of you dealing with a third-party situation or you're being, you're being triangulated in a relationship, this has to do with people gaslighting you or it has to do with you gaslighting yourself, and it could have to do with uh, your logic completely overriding your intuition and, and, and a, a struggle to surrender to what your intuition is telling you. Okay, um, for many of you, though, this has to do with uh, the path the goals that you have in, in the real world, you know, whatever it is for you, the authentic thing that you want to do. I feel like there's something here about you're not convinced it can support you. The king of pentacles in reverse, there could be something here about this is not ethical, or there could be something here about this is not realistic and my intuition is going to get me in trouble. But let me tell you, um, your intuition will course correct itself. And sometimes like the universe just needs you to get up off your butt and start moving like, but it's not going to be the thing that you're doing forever, but it will lead to the synchronicity that will, that will help you change. But if you never start that process, it's going to be tough. You know what I mean? Um, so just be aware of that. And let's go ahead and get this advice. Sorry, the camera died. So let's go ahead and get this advice. Let's clarify why the King of Swords is here in your advice, Scorpio. The King of Swords is clarified by the Excuse me, the Four of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Death card. What? You know, so this is definitely about healing your own self-sufficiency and your ability to transform. You know, this is very much so the Freya energy of change is the only constant. This is your own energy. And um, the Four of Swords has to do with healing, you know, and taking time out for yourself. And the not, this is really about being alone. All this energy is not to do with other people. So there may be a key relationship that you 
understand something is really off spiritually with it that you need to just take time out for yourself, take a break from it for some of you. Um, but for others of you, I feel like you need to take some sort of logical action or establish a boundary with people in your life that will lead to transformation and healing and establish a boundary. You get like, you know what I've done? Like I, with all this Mary Magdalene stuff, I have established a boundary. I don't care anymore. I don't care. And this is like the, and it's not that I don't care because I don't care. It's because I can't help anyone if I don't help myself first and I'm not authentic first and listen I'm not a freaking um, saint here. I'm not above misinterpretation. I'm not above, and, but I need to be in the truth and then what happens from there will be revealed. But you need to be in the truth even if the truth makes you wrong. Uh, at least you try out for it. You know what I mean? Because this is maybe about regrets. I feel like for some of you, this is about something that you need to do, that you need to test yourself to see. Pretend, now, this is a very complicated thing I'm about to say. I'm saying that some of you need to test yourself, release your fire, release the fear of persecution, release the orthodoxy, allow yourself to transform and really go for something. Test yourself in a way that like, I don't know if I'm going to do this, but I'm going to give it my all. And even if you ended up failing, quote unquote, at that, you would at least have, you would, would have at least minimized your regrets in life. And you can be at peace. And that's what I realized. Like, even with this channel, with all the crazy videos that I'm releasing, um, at least, like, there's a lot of, a little bit of emotional charge there, right, for me, but at least I am real. You know what I mean? At least the kid's not effing lying, okay? So, <laughs> you need to be real with yourself, no matter what, okay? Um, that's really what I feel. Now let's clarify the star. Man, I missed this tarot. But you know what? You, look, why haven't I been doing tarot, everyone? Because I've been seeing myself through other people's eyes. When I see myself through my eyes, I can give you what you need more accurately. You know what I mean? Like, I, whatever. Why is a star card here for Scorpio and your advice? regeneration right because you have the theme in your advice you have the death card which has to do with decay and then you have the star over here which has to do with the regeneration and if you look at your life you're always either in the cycle of uh decay or regeneration and i feel like you're kind of like going through both of those right now the star is clarified by the magician the page of wands the Knight of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the Queen of Wands in the world. I mean, that's like very poetic because some, you know, some sort of new vision that you have that you're very excited about with the magician, spiritual energy, potential. You have everything you need to complete this. For some of you, you've just never even tried, or even if you've tried, you've never really given it your all, which is what Scorpio is meant to do, have an intense life. Um, <laughs> the Knight of Swords is all about not thinking of the long-term consequences of your actions. Be real now and then let the universe balance itself, balance itself out later. The Six of Pentacles also has to do with giving your gift. The Six of Wands has to do with public victory success. The Queen of Wands is also here in your overall general energy, authentic power, uh, business acumen, realness, fire, excitement. And then you have the, the World card here, which is about an ending, but it's also about an upgrade and you receiving something for having gone through the hero's journey. But if you deny the hero's journey, um, then you're not gonna get anywhere. So with that being said, um, get your popcorn ready, P.